But Brandon Doman, he's back to his five-yard line. He throws long downfield, and it is caught at the 50-yard line by Pittman. Oh, my goodness! It would be hard to find someone whose life has been more impacted by the rivalry than BYU offensive coordinator Brandon Doman. Twice he rallied the Cougars to victory over the Utes. It changed my life. Are you kidding? The year 2000 and 2001, the, the, the ability to be the quarterback in that game and then to come back from behind and win uh, changed the course of my own personal life significantly. In fact, I wouldn't be doing this interview with you if, if those things had not occurred. Players at BYU and Utah may not get the same opportunity in the future. The September 15th game is the last meeting scheduled. Utah is non-committal about playing BYU on an annual basis. Kyle Whittingham made these comments about the future of the rivalry on Sports Beat Sunday in April. Well, the rivalry game is important, but not as important as, as what's best for our university and, and our football program. And what we're looking for in our schedule, the bottom line is balance. That's the operative word that we're, we're trying to achieve. And you know, like everybody else, it'd be a, you know, I'd hate to see it go away, but, but the bottom line is what's best for us and also what's best for them. BYU has made it clear where they stand. They want the rivalry to continue every year. You're asking a guy that thinks that game is, is, is a game that should last forever. Um, so yeah, I'll be disappointed if it goes away. Is it going to hurt the two programs if it goes away? No. BYU wants to play the game, but we can't make them play. And they have what they feel is a, a better situation or something that they can build their program off of. And they're going to do what they're going to do. Uh, we'd like it to continue, and if it takes a break, I'm not going to... Uh, cry about it. I'm going to try to get it back on. It's going to be a bummer. I think it's more of their problem than ours because I think we're willing to play them. I don't think they are because they're in the Pac-12. I think they're better than us and that's fine. They, that's how they feel. That's how they feel. But I hope the powers that be can uh, put aside that and realize that this game needs to be played. That Let's set ego aside. Let's set uh, all those, uh, let's set everything aside and play the game because it's the best thing for the state for the programs, for the players in the program. I'm Jeremiah Jensen, Sports Beat.